Well, if this dog ever lands in the airport, you'll see what kind of person she is. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I'll tell you what. My dog is 24 years old. He's the 10th oldest dog in the world, and he can walk around the block faster. <laughs> he, he, he can walk into walls so much better than my dog could ever. <laughs> Aww. I, I got to be honest, Keem. I'm with this one, them on this one. Like that, that poor dog. Like you need to put that dog down, dude. I don't think he has to put it down. Jesus, joke. No, no, I mean, dude. That, dude, that dog, dog is you. suffering. It can't like see. It can't do hardly what anything. Wrong with you? Tipster, the nose still works. If, if, if your grandmother goes blind, you're gonna put her down. <laughs> I mean, that's gonna put her down. People, but okay. Absolutely. Bag and put it around grandma's head. You're gonna put a pillow on her when she's sleeping, Tipster. You <laughs> sick fuck. To be fair, tips are some people and most decent people who have animals think of their animals as an extension of their family. So it would be to Keem, to me, like killing a member of your family. And if you're not oh, no, okay I, with killing a member it. of your family, then why would you be My okay with killing My dog is your not pet? suffering. My dog wakes up every day. He does exercise. He walks around. He's hungry. He's not in a position where he is dying or suffering. I mean, I imagine you take your dog regularly to the vet, so the vet would be the best one to yeah. give suggestions on when it comes to his dog, not assholes on the YouTube. And, and, right, and the, fair and enough. The fair enough. vet literally calls him the miracle dog because he's in such good health for his age. All right, fair if, enough, man. If his fair legs enough. ever give out, are you going to get him a doggy wheelchair so he can roll around faster speeds? As long as Buddy wants to get up and walk around, <laughs> get up and go eat food and drink water... He's going to be alive no matter what. I, I got to be honest. The grip pads on the dog's feet were fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> he needs better traction. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it sounds like if, you know, Tipster's dog was getting old and couldn't stand well and was slipping on the hardwood floor, he'd just sit on it say, fuck it. It's over with. <laughs> I mean, hell, I, have a, I have a two-year-old dog oh, in yeah. a house with hardwood floors, and she still, ha still sometimes has problems getting traction because they're hardwood floors. Right. I don't know. Keen plays a big, hey, uh, like, big role tell, here. But... Do you know how fucked up that is to tell another person, oh, you should put your animal down? It's fucked, fucked up enough like, to block what? Nick, apparently. Like, that's so fucked up. Your pet. Yeah, that's a real cool thing to say to someone. Hey, that was my favorite way I ever got blocked by you. <laughs> <laughs> I earned that one. <laughs> But seriously, Tipster, that's fucked up. You tell that guy on live air that he needs to put his dog down? Jesus Christ, Tipster. <laughs> tipster, oh my god. I mean, based on the videos he's showing, it looks like it's suffering. But if he says he takes it to the vet and the vet says it's good to go, then hey, there's no issue there then. It's good to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, it's it's time uh, to get banned. Bunny, you got Ben cute, here. Bunny's cute. No, Keemstar says, I want a full 10 minute apology about the Tipster. Until then, you are blocked. Uh, yeah, I already noticed I was blocked. You know what would be really, really fucked up is if uh, Tipster gave a full 10-minute apology and then he unblocked me. That'd be uh, real fucked up. <laughs> I'd be really disappointed oh. if he was stuck. I mean, I don't know what the hell I would say for like a full 10-minute apology, but essentially what I'll say I is he says he takes the dog to the vet and the vet says he's good, then my bad, dude. You're taking care of your dog. Cool. Yeah. 